Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick uh, update for you guys on my four month relaxer stretch. I am getting a, another relaxer uh, after a four month stretch uh, later this week. Uh, in preparation actually, the timing is pretty good because I have an event coming up next weekend. So when I do these relaxer stretches, I try to, especially as my roots grow out, I try to go as low maintenance with my hair as possible. So as you can see, my hair is like in a, a nice thick bun and I really just try to use my fingers to do most of the work when I'm styling my hair outside of my bang, of course. Uh, that takes a little bit more work, especially as my roots grow out in my bangs. But I like to use wide tooth combs and all of that because one of the things that I think a lot of people who still, who still chemically process relax their hair, I think one of the struggles that a lot of people face is the damage, the breakage from all of the manipulation that comes along with trying to style your hair into the exact same style that your hair looked like when you just came fresh out of a relaxer. And it's really a matter of embracing the thickness of your hair and working with that thickness. If I took this bun down right now, I'm not going to do it. But if I did take this bun down right now, it would just be like, like thickness galore. And it's a matter of appreciating that thickness and knowing how to work with it in terms of the style that works best for you. So with my bangs, what I do is I just quickly blow dry the, the roots. I flat iron those and I do this little style. And by the way, I do have a how do I style my bangs video. So I'll link that right here and also below this video uh, so you can see more detail about how I get this look. But um, in terms of the rest of my hair, I actually just um, filmed a video about um, a great leave-in conditioner. So check that out. I'll link that here as well as below this video. A leave-in conditioner is great, especially a cream-based leave in if you are bunning up your hair and um, just really taking your time to limit so you can limit damage and any breakage with your hair. I really don't feel the need to flat iron all that much or do any um, blow drying. I actually feel like air drying is a better thing, especially as you go deeper into your relaxer stretches. So I mean, I, I felt like this past stretch was good. But I think it was good because I took the more low maintenance route as opposed to trying to fight with my roots and try to straighten them. Every now and then I would flat iron and like let my hair down, but that's pretty rare. I would say that I've been bunning most of the time. And what I do, and I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, for those of you that don't know, when I, after I wash and condition my hair, I will apply a leave-in. Um, I'll actually let my hair air dry to about like 60%. I apply a leave-in and then I let my hair completely air dry and then I apply like satin rollers, silk rollers, let my hair curl overnight in those in those uh, rollers and also tie my hair up in a satin scarf. I take all that down in the morning and using my fingers for the most part style my hair up into a bun style. I use pins as needed to push in any stray hairs and then I style my bangs and it's really quick and easy and I'm out the door. So yeah, this stretch was good. I will post a relaxer update after I get that done later next week, but just wanted to keep you guys in the loop about my hair care regimen, what's going on. Still relaxing my hair, um, but I get relaxers. As, as you guys know, I don't get relaxers often. I do it like three times a year and um, for the most part I'm stretching. The rest of the year and um, my hair texture is like 4a 4b in terms of my moisturizing and protein regimens I try to keep up with those I love the Afogee protein treatment I love my deep conditioner treatments and a lot of this stuff I do at home the one thing that I get done in a salon is the relaxer and when they apply the relaxer they're super careful about not overlapping they only apply to the new growth and that's a good reason. And I know I've mentioned a lot of this before, but that's a good, it's a good reason to stretch because that way your stylist can see uh, what hair is new, like new growth, and the rest of it that's chemically processed so they don't feel the need to overlap and pretty much re-relax your hair. And that's where a lot of breakage comes in, etc. So this has been working for me for the past few years and I am keeping it going. But yeah, that's my update. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and um, I will see you guys in my relaxer update video. All right, see you soon.